Hello everyone, so we're going to begin these lessons by having an overview of the project files. So on the left you have the main storyboard, and on the right we have the view controller. So we have three outlets on that storyboard. So first the peak of view, and we're going to use the peak of view to create the spinning wheel. Then we have the play button, and we're going to press on that button every time to start the spinning wheel. And we have the result label, and this is going to display whether this is a loss or a win. Then we have a fruit array, and that's going to be that's going to take string objects. And we have three other arrays, component 1, component 2, and component 3, and that's going to be integers as objects of these arrays. Then we have this function, random number, which is going to take an integer as a parameter and return another integer. And as you may expect, it's going to return a random number. So we use this function arc for random uniform, which is a built-in function coming with the iOS SDK. And whichever number that you pass as an argument, so we're going to return an integer within the limits, the bounds of this number. And we're going to use these functions to randomly generate a number and display its elements on the spinning wheel. So we're going to go straight to view did load, where we initialize this fruit array with emojis. So that works just like strings. So here we're using fruit emojis to display on the spinning wheel. And every time you're going to have three similar emojis, that's going to be, as you may expect, obviously a win. Below we have this for loop that we initialize with a zero. We're going to iterate through this loop a hundred times. What we do inside this loop is appending a random number between zero and 10. So you see that we're using this function random number and we're going to pass, we're going to append this random number each time, a hundred times to each of these components, component one, component two, and component three. And we're going to end up with a hundred integer objects for each of these arrays, component one, two, and three. And we're, we're going to use that for the spinning wheel. We'll see in a moment. It's always better showed than explained. For now, it's just an overview. Then below we have the result label to which we assign an empty string to the text property. Finally, we conform to the delegate and data source of the UI peak of view protocol. So you see that at the top, we conform to the UI peak of view delegate and UI peak of view data source. So we assign self to adopt the protocol. And what we're going to do next is implementing the data source methods that includes to indicate how many rows, how many components, and configuring also the components of the peak of view. And we're going to do that in the next video lesson.